So I says to him, I says, hot dogs lack any actual dog meat. And that's false advertising. What? Steve, enough. We're trying to watch the Weather Channel. Tuesday is going to be a beautiful sunny day, and Wednesday is going to be partly cloudy with a chance of... What should we do? Call the cops? A fire truck? Hide until it's all over? Already on it. Guys, relax. What could you possibly think is going to happen? Oh, nothing. Just that our faces will melt off like that scene in Indiana Jones. That, or we can no longer eat really acidic foods like Cheez-Its or marinara sauce. Or... Okay, enough. Neither of those things are going to happen from acid rain. Yeah. No acid reflux? No face melting? So why is this type of rain even a big deal? Let me explain. When people think of acid rain, they often think of acid falling from the sky and burning anything it touches. But that's not exactly what happens. But before we talk about how acid rain can harm us, let's first discover what it even is. Acid rain is made of water droplets that are acidic due to the polluted atmosphere. It is caused by the gases sulfur dioxide and nitrogen dioxide reacting with the moisture in the atmosphere. The release of these gases can come from large fires or volcanoes, but it's believed that most of it comes from the use of fossil fuels in factories and cars. It is estimated that about 10% of acid rain is caused by fires and volcanoes, while 90% is from factories and cars. Lousy humans, what? you guys always ruin everything. You should just leave the world to us puppets. Yeah. Andy, a puppet is a human with its hand up its butt. Tur goes on a bagel. Andy, you don't have to finish my sentence. I'm allowed to say buh. D. Holly was a musician from the mid-50s. Andy, enough. Let me say buh. Buzz Lightyear to the rescue. Buh. The knees come on Easter. Bumblebees are black and yellow. I hate you. While acid rain can hurt you, most acid rain cannot. Well, at least not directly. Much of the rain we see everywhere is already a little acidic, and we measure it by something called a pH scale. This scale goes from 0 to 14. 0 is the most acidic, and 14 is the least. Anything under the number 7 is considered acidic. Lemon juice has a pH level of about 2.3. Unpolluted rain has a pH balance of about 5 or 6. And acid rain has a pH level of 4. And harmful acids would be a 0 or a 1. True acid rain can cause buildings, statues, and bridges to break down faster than usual. And it can cause severe harm to the ecosystems of rivers, streams, and lakes, which can have a huge impact on the animals that live in them. As acid rain falls on trees, it can make them lose their leaves, damage their bark, and stunt their growth. Wait a second. If there's acid rain, does that mean there's acid snow? <gasps> we can make an acid snowman! Help me. What? Well, technically there is. There are two types of acid rain, wet deposition and dry deposition. Wet deposition is what many people think of when they hear the words acid rain. This is when sulfuric and nitric acids formed in the atmosphere fall to the ground when mixed with rain, snow, fog, or hail. In areas where the weather is dry, the acid chemicals mix with dust or smoke and fall to the ground, sticking to buildings, homes, cars, and trees. This is called dry deposition. There's a lot being done to stop acid rain, but most of it comes down to less pollution. Since the burning of fossil fuels in factories and cars is the largest contributor to acid rain, using clean energy types in factories and reducing our use of fossil fuels can help reduce acid rain. I know you said we could stop it, but I think we're too late. Andy, I told you, acid rain can't do that. Well, if it's not acid rain, what is it? Have you guys seen my pants? Hey guys, thanks for watching. Teachers and parents, if you're interested, I have an acid rain quiz on my Teachers Pay Teacher site. I have a bunch of other quizzes and worksheets from my other videos there too. But now I need to thank my patrons on Patreon who help keep this channel alive, especially 
Luke Bradley, Lillian and Davis Sozin, Gavin Huggin, Charles and Olivia, Jean Amy Patterson, Aiden J, Nathan and Ava C, Leah and Gavin Clark, Tobin and Nina, Timmy C, Mrs. Brown's first grade, JJ Schmidt, Miller Daniel and his mom Jennifer, the Gauker family, Judah, Lachlan Connor, Ian Parker and Braylon Callis, Marley and Lennon Kimsey, Lennon McCartney Jones Page, Avalon and Cash, Jason the Kid Parker, Kuchan 115, Cora, Ayer, and Jovi Douthit, Christopher F., Jakey Jake, Noah Chin, Farron Witter, Georgie and his Grammy Genie and Grampy Mike, Harrison Eastwood, Carter, Levi, and Fletcher, Hannah, Maya, and Zoe, Jack Hartzler, Ronan X, and Raiden Z, Hannah Y, Amelia and Alan Mills, Harper, Lily, and Thatcher McCoy, Aiden Fenway Riley, Ethan and Axel, Stephen McPhee, Witten, Cruz, and Reese Miller, Callum G, Alexander, Julian, and David, Connor and Emma B, Jacob Badutzi Thorpe, Max C, Brandon Favaza and Mommy, Kate and Sarah, GC, Connor Higgins, Philip and Anna Buckley, Ada S, Rebecca and Sarah F from Pennsylvania, Beatrice Ballar, William, Andrew, and Charlie Wallenstein, Henry Pavelko, Jordana and Aaron, Gabe and Elijah, Gavin Watt and his cool dad, Freddie and Esther Green, Mika, Jordan, and Maya, Solomon Caldwell and Asa Caldwell, Lizzie, Dean, and Trevor, Lily, Annabelle, Slifko, Rebecca Beanie, Mabel and Graham, Evan Lee, Luke and Lily Hurlitz, Gavin and Ian Eshte, Toothless and Light Fury, Caillou, Benny, and Finn Miller, Grant and Ara Brown, Jameson and Isla Smith from Arkansas, Lydia and Finn Biersch, Julian Jackson and Jacob, Oshi, Ben and Ollie, Creed of Devon and Zach T, Gavin Meidel, Connor LeCoque and family, Luke Raposa, Jameson, Nolan, and Lily, Sam and Eddie from London, Amelia Silva, Julian and Joseph Pierce, Eliza Griffiths and Jonathan Griffiths, Nora Close, Haley and Ethan Hebert, Greg Matlock, Wesley C., Mikey and Ryan Jones, Edward, Mr. Fast, and Mr. Red, Asher Evans, Charlie Stone, Millie Fennell, Jasper Soros Rex, Mary Margaret M., Jack and Easton Hess, Chris the Megalodon, The Rivard Boys, Bennett E., a.k.a. Pooh Bear, Elijah Robert, Eliza Sawyer, Miera and Mrs. Lagrande, second grade class. Do you want to get your name in a video too? Well, visit patreon.com backslash Mr. DeMeo. If you sign up, you can get your name in a video, see my videos early, and more. Check the description box for a link.